Hello everyone and welcome back to the Doctor's Garage. So today I'm with my 1957 Series 1 Land Rover and I'm going to be doing some of the modifications for it, getting it ready for this summer. I haven't really done much to this car so far on the channel. Um, we've added some front seats that I didn't film, but today we're going to be getting the back ready. So come check it out on the back of the Series. So here it is, my 1957 Series 1, and it's just running at the moment. I'm just getting it warmed up a little bit because it's been off for quite a while. Now, I know I didn't film this on the channel, but since you last probably saw it, I have added these, which are the um, sort of green seats that just replaced what I had previously in the series. It's made it a lot more comfortable to drive, and the last ones were just falling apart completely. Um, still really love this car. I don't get it out very often, but today, obviously, being so warm this bank holiday, I thought it'd be a good time to get it out. And more importantly, get things sorted out for this summer so it becomes a more usable summer car this year and a big part of that actually is getting the rear sorted out so you can see here we've got the rear seating to go on these wheel arches wheel boxes whatever you want to call them to put on here and this is going to make a big difference because it's going to create a bit of a seat back and just make a more comfortable place to sit in the back of my series so really looking forward to doing that and getting that job done i've got them right here you can see and the frames are in here and these importantly are the galvanized bench frames so this is what i wanted because i wanted to go really go with all the capping uh, i think the galvanized looks definitely the one for this uh, car in my defender i have fitted exactly the same rear seats but that was done with the black the black ones the black steel frames and that suits that car but for this i do think the galvanized is going to be the one to go for so let's get fitting that today so in these kits it's really simple you get the backrest piece which is here obviously matches the front and then you also get the bottom seat cushion. These are all vinyl, they're not leather, and vinyl certainly is cheaper than leather, and so for me, was the one to go for for this car. These are gonna be out in all weather, so they can take um, rain and everything else on them, I believe, so that's what we're gonna be using today. Coming these great bags as well, and then the frames are in here. Let's open one of these, and I'll show you what the frames look like that I'm gonna be fitting to my series. So this is the color I've gone for for the frames. This is the galvanized steel look, which I think will be perfect for what we're doing with the series. So having done this job before, it's an amazingly simple job to do. Essentially, you just have these two bolts for each seat, uh, and that's it for each seat bench and then the the plates as well to put on the top and bottom just to hold it in place and that is it it's really really simple to do and looks like it's going to take a lot longer than it is going to do but you don't need much so essentially what you need is something to tighten these up you need a drill to drill through the floor on the seat box uh, so drill that size and then that's pretty much it some spanners and you push pretty much should be done ready to go for this fitting it's important to say at this point as well, you get these little nuts and bolts, which are <coughs> to hold the rear seat onto the back support, which goes onto the frame. So we'll be doing that now. That's probably the bit that takes the longest actually, is just putting that cushion onto this frame. But once we've done that, everything else is pretty simple. So that is the seat back completely bolted on with those three, four, five bolts. We're now gonna find a place to mount it on here and I'll show you how I located these holes and whereabouts I've put them when I did my Defender and I hope it'll be similar to the series. What I did on my Defender was put these spreader plates on. So you've got the bottom spreader plate here, which goes underneath. So you should be able to hit my Series Buzz C under there, which is where these bolts are going to come out from. And that's going to be on the underside to hold them on. And then this one is going to be here just to a kind of a clamp really i guess to support it and keep these down and that's how i did it on my defender and it seems to work quite well it's just about positioning it which way do you want forward or backwards in regards to how far forward do you want to be sitting in the defender i kind of went for the middle um when i was doing my defender and i'll probably do something similar to this so we have been in there now been underneath and marked where i'm going to be drilling so you can see a little black mark there and one up there I just want to make sure there's nothing underneath these areas. So I haven't drilled through this car before at all. So I'm going to make two little very small holes just in there. I've got a drill bit that should be exactly the right size for those bolts to fit through. So screw the two holes there. I actually don't believe these are the top spreader plates to use. The bolts don't go through these. I think these are something to do with the rear in here uh, to help support the back. However, I've put the bolt through, we're all good. We've got both screws on. We're about in the middle of where we want to be. So we can use a spreader plate on the bottom now and start tightening these two up. But already you can see 
it's looking pretty cool to be fair um with the galvanized metal that matches the capping although this is 50 odd years old still looks pretty good pretty nice match for that and then from the other side too if you come around here it's looking really good i think the seats look really nice in that green actually and uh when i get the bottom seats on and the other chair and i think it'd be pretty good and it actually feels quite spacious in the back here now which is the first time i'm probably saying that about a series because usually i feel like there's not uh very much room in the back but i think with these chairs in they'll actually feel but it's quite a lot of room for people to sit so excited to see how that goes on it's an absolute mystery as to how these work whether it looks like they line up quite well for those holes but i wonder if they go on like that i feel like there's some way of them attaching to to this where they hook on maybe i don't i just don't know how these go on i don't think i use them on my defender either maybe i don't need to my defender but maybe i do need to hear just that's a bit annoying not that they're bolted down yet but let me know in the comments if you know how these are used it's probably really simple, but I just can't seem to work it out how that works. So please let me know. So that is the first bolt done. If you look under there, you can see where that is and that's nice and tight. The next one is just here to do and that's what we are gonna be doing next. Make sure that seat's pushed really far back so it leans against there, which it is at the moment. So pretty happy with that. Let's now just see what it's like when it's tightened up. So we've got the chair put in now, we've got the frame put in anyway, let's put the cushion in and they, they also tie back on there as well, but that looks pretty good. So just see what that's like. I mean, it's not the most comfortable chair, but it's not bad at all, to be fair. That is in and it's pretty good. I'm really happy with it. The only problem is, is I do have this. It's a little gap and the screw is really far back when I put it in, so it's just a little bit annoying that it rattles. It doesn't really do it on this side. It does a little bit if you move forward and backwards. What do you suggest about that? What should we do to stop that rattling? I'm sure, to be fair, when we get driving, it's probably going to be the least of my worries, that small rattle, because it rattles pretty much everywhere else. However, if there's anything you can think of to pack it with, just to stop that from contacting, that would be nice. But I'm really pleased with how it looks. Um, looks really nice. Works really well with the green, the galvanised suits the seats in the front um now we've got to do the other side and get that side done but not too bad to do at all really quite a simple job as far as they go when you're working on your land rover and there's also a very nice place there for maybe a sticker or two maybe an island rovers a classic island rover sticker on there might look good supporting conrad at island rovers great instagram channel if you don't follow it um so yeah that's what we're gonna be doing next let's get the other seat on and see what it looks like fully complete. It does actually say here, and I've just read this, obviously in the SIP 4, for Series 1 models, 8086, 88 inch, do not use mounting brackets. Instead, fit the back of the frame to the rear tub with two M6 bolts. You may need to drill the vehicle. So, I assume what that means is on here I get a little wobble. What I need to do is drill into this portion here, where there's almost that hole there, drill behind there, and fit somehow frame and there isn't a hole there yet I'm going to drill the whole thing right into there and just bolt it and that does sound better to be fair because at least it won't shake around so there is a solution and that's probably what i'll do not today but at some point get that fitted uh depending how much it rattles around basically in the in the defend in the series sorry but yeah so that is the solution for series one so pretty much got all of these finger tight now just need to tighten these little nuts off and then we'll be ready to fit this onto that side so what I've done is I've measured the distance I've played on there, put that where I felt looked right, and then this one I've just measured to match. So got two dots again, here and here. And now what we're doing is we're going to be drilling those holes in to start mounting this side. The holes are now drilled. So that is the second frame in. All that's left to do now is to get this second cushion out. And let's see what it all looks like together. So cushion there the little ties on the back of there how good does that look really really pleased with that looks very very cool put your seats up at the front as well you can see now we have rear seats in the series one and now in theory i guess you could take one two three four five six seven people so seven seater who needs a discovery when you've got a series one got a seven seater right here so gonna work out how to put these brackets tie them back onto the frame might do that another day, but at least this is done now. Let's clear it up, get some better footage, really, of them all fitted. Uh, but yeah, 
quite an easy job actually to do and, and I think that's gonna be a brilliant job for summer to be able to use this as a bit of a bit of a run around with the rear seats in now. Let's put the back up, see what they look like. But I'm really pleased with how they look. Pretty comfortable sitting, as comfortable as they go, I guess. What you expect really from something like this, but yeah, really pleased with the colorway and the frames and everything else. I think they look great. So that is the series one ready to go for summer. Thank you for watching my video. I always appreciate it. And if you can subscribe, like this video and let me know what you think in the comments below. That'd be much appreciated. And let's see what's next in store for the series one on the channel. See you guys soon.